We all could use something sweet, and Martha Stewart has just the recipe. Well, it is autumn. Last day of summer has passed, but the garden doesn't stop giving. I love preserving, and I am now in the process of making jams and jellies from all the fruits that I have harvested all summer long. All of these jams and jellies I made yesterday. A lot of these will be gifts for my friends, and they will love them. The difference between a jam and a jelly, well, jam has all the full fruit in it, and jelly is the juice of the fruit, uh, strained. Now, I wanna show you how to make a really delicious blueberry. So, four and a half pounds of beautiful blueberries, and then measure out the sugar. It seems like so much sugar, but you know, what are you using on your croissant? A tablespoon or two of your homemade jam, and don't forget the lemon juice. So this one goes onto the stove, and you cook it until all the sugar is dissolved. Now, all the sugar has melted. You put this fruit and syrup, because the blueberries have really cooked down, into a glass bowl, and you cover with a piece of parchment paper and refrigerate overnight. It can stay in the refrigerator for, oh, two, three days before you bring it back to a boil. Oh, look how beautiful that is. So to fill our jars, you must have a funnel like this. And then you just scoop into the jar. Oh, and I didn't mention the square ladle. This is the ingenious ladle. And you wanna make sure that you don't drip on white marble counters. This berry juice is pretty indelible, so be careful. And put these on each top. See, I put the ring on, hold down with my finger, and screw on there. Pop down and seal. It's a sort of a self-sealing method. So no more paraffin wax on top. Remember, mom used to use paraffin wax? And all of this jam and jelly making really uh, just brings me to um, uh, how I came up with the flavors for my new product line of wellness uh, CBD products. Really, this blueberry jam, which we just made, and see, that's a nice gel. Tastes just like the huckleberry pot de fouille gummies. We all need to be calm these days, don't we? Let's see how they taste with the homemade jam on it. And this, to me, is Sunday morning. Reminds me of Paris. Mm. Absolutely perfect.